sick and pray for peace in all the families. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really the sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We said, say from Troas, making a straight run for Somatros, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, when we went outside the city gate along the river, where we thought there would be a place of prayer, we sat and spoke with the woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Taikara, a worship, worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm would be, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festivity dance. Let them sing praise to him with tremble and heart. For the Lord loves his people, and they adore, he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you will also will testify. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Apocalypse comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he, he will testify to me, and you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, 
the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today my brothers abandoned me here <laughs> and they can stay here. But today, the sixth week of Easter, the last days we were hearing about the Holy Spirit, the Paraclet, the Consoler. And the Paraclet, the Consoler, the Holy Spirit is the Mediator who help us and God and Jesus promised us never abandon us and this is one of the truths that we need to to believe and to consider all the time especially when we are in difficult moments we need to rely the Holy Spirit is with me and he never abandoned me and today in the first reading we heard about the Acts of Apostles is a book we are we were reading this um, Easter and they continue to traveling to the different towns, cities and even countries to spread the good news. And today the Paul and the other people, the disciples, they want to rest, but more than rest they wanted to to pray and they were looking for a, a place of prayer. Like Jesus did all the time that he sometimes with the disciples or alone, he looked for a place for prayer in silence. And today is the same with the disciples. They they are in Macedonia and in, in the Roman colony. They are closer than other places like the Roman. And today the, they went on Sabbath and they, win, they wanted to pray, they must pray. And when they were in the place, they found a people, a woman whose name is Lydia. The reader said she is a dealer in purple cloth and I assume she was a wealthy family, that she was a wealthy lady, a wealthy family but she was very devoted. And one of the things said, the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. Open her heart. I think we must ask God, open my heart every day to listen to him, to listen to other people even when they try to help us. Open our hearts. It's important as God every day. And after that, she baptized and all the family, but she put a one condition, like uh, for to be to be sure that the disciples believe in her. He said, "If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home." And she prevailed on us. She invited them and. The reading, the other readings, the other commentary said that they stayed with uh, uh, Lydia in the, her house many days because they were preaching, they were in mission, and she supported them. The family supported them with the food and other needs they have. And this is one of the, the lady was very important. It is important that that she was a very devoted and she accepted the Holy Spirit and she opened her heart for to receive God in their community. And this invitation for us is open our hearts all the time. And in the Gospel is Jesus is talking with his disciples and when the advocate comes whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth proceed from the Father. He will testify to me, testify. We are witnesses that God loves us. We are witnesses that 
Holy Spirit is with us. We are witness that the Holy Spirit is working on us. This is important to us to receive the Holy Spirit and testify the Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit, because Jesus said to his disciples that the things maybe will change and maybe they they receive persecution, they receive rejection, and in fact it's true. But he said, I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you remember that I told you. He prevent them with the Holy Spirit is very important to support all the adversities that they, they can find during the time in preaching on spreading the, the gospel for the different region, different cities. We are invited as well to spread the gospel, to spread the good news in everywhere. And especially we are invited to pray for people who need us, who need our prayers. This is important in that time to pray for others. Amen. Confident that God knows our every need, let us bring our prayers to Him. For Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and deacons, may they, like Paul, be filled by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as they preach the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For our world, May the Holy Spirit enliven the hearts of all believers and help us proclaim the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have lost their way, may God help them to hear His voice and follow His path. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may God give us perseverance as we continue on our own journeys of evangelization, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they experience the peace and joy of the heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. And for special petitions, we have called in our hearts and families, especially those who are sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you made the needs of the first apostles through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Answer the prayers we bring to you today. We are here to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of air, the work of the human hand, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine and the work of the human hand, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring 
may bear fruit in perpetual happiness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all that to fulfill in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you, to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, all come with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly power with the angelic cross sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly give you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease the garden to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, the pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious they may call you, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, given thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in the giving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim, but good dead, you will recognize, reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially through the most blessed Virgin, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, his spouse, and Francis, and Claire, and all the saints and glorious mothers, and Felix, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from having help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and our salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, Mark Tudor, our auxiliar and all the clergy. Listen, Gretchen, to the prayers of these families, 
the homes whom you have summoned before you in your compassion for mercy for Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our Father, brothers and sisters, and all who were present to you and their passing from this life, give kind of admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And together, like the families, we pray the word that Jesus taught us and we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us of the child, the peace of God. The peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed the call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pray for a spiritual communion. All of you repeat the prayer and we are united with all the church in a spiritual communion and we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
kindness upon your people, O oh Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and build the Mass descended and have a blessed day. And we say, Our Mother, we intercede for all those who are sick, and we say, Her Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Our Lady of the Lord,